kids and welcome to part three of the Wampa hand build. Um, we're getting to the exciting bit. Um, well, for me at least. Um, okay, let me show you what we've done so far. I'm not going to flip the camera around on this one. We've got pretty much the hand all padded out. Now there's only one finger left. If you remember last week I was running out of material so I've sort of Frankensteined a cover for this one but it's all quite neat on the back etc. Uh, so I just put this one in first, then I've finished that off. Now I know how much spare I've got left to cut off. Um, I don't need to do too much about here because there's going to be fur here. I just realised, I was thinking, oh, I might need cloth all the way down here. No, I won't. There's going to be fur. Okay, we're going to do this now um, in time lapse because it's going to take ages and it's going to be boring. And we'll have a 20 minute video again, so I've got some black. Got me a handy dandy brown which I always mix in this bottle. That's good. I've uh, got some white just in case I need it. And uh, got a little mixing container, but that may be rubbish. So I have a lovely spiced balsamic chutney jar. This was lovely stuff, by the way. This is Morrison's. Mmm, it's like Branston pickle for posh people. Right, okay, so um, I'm going to put some water in there and mix the paint quite thin. So it's not thick, obviously, thin is not thick. And we'll see where, how it goes from there. So let's go time-lapse mode, eh? It's rubber latex time. Now rubber latex comes in bottles like this. So you can see it's going pink because it reacts with the air. Also, uh, rubber latex is this, Copydex glue, which is horrible, sticky. Eh. And if you've ever smelt this stuff before, you're one of the lucky ones. This actually stinks like um, ammonia. It's got that really sort of strong wee smell to it. I've got a very old nasty brush um, that I can use. And I'm not going to use copy decks, I'm going to just dig straight into the latex rubber. So I think I need to put this in a container. This will do. And here comes the smell. Uh, I may have to go into time lapse mode for this one. So as you see, it actually looks like very milky. Milky, milky. Um, and it looks like double cream. Great stuff, but it stinks. So far, not stinking too much. So, just checking where we are on a camera. Okay, let's um, let's do some time lapse then, shall we? Ready, steady, go. That's 
smells to high heaven. Go on, my eyes watering. I think I'm going to open a window, but hey, you won't hear the noise because we'll have some music. Let's get back to it. Everybody. Hey, hey. Debbie B. Check out the rhyme. Be fine. Know what I'm saying? Ain't no delaying. That's me. Uh uh. Hang on tight. Speed of light. Come on. just leave that to dry and as you can see it's beginning to go back to a transparent kind of color where it dries off obviously thicker it is the whiter it is but it will dry off at some point and we can see what it looks like and um, I've painted all the way down to here even though this much will be covered by fur um, just to seal off some of the uh, material uh, it's drying off nicely I'm hoping all these whiteness will disappear and I think it will because it's beginning to on the fingers up here and some of the darker areas um, so I'm going to leave that probably overnight now before I do anything else to it um, once that's done we turn over and then we start looking at padding out the back of the hand a little bit and then we get the fur on and then we're pretty much done now I think you'll agree that looks lovely so what I basically did was water down some black and some brown paint and I basically went in all the all the recesses here and here and especially around the fingertips right now can you see let me just show you see that sort of white area there that's kind of what it was like all over I had this kind of slightly so if I can find another piece you could just see a kind of white bubbly kind of frothy texture there that's kind of what was all over and it wasn't bad. It did actually look like this hand had been stuck in the snow and it was all kind of slightly frosty. Okay, let's see what we're going to do next. Alrighty, so the next thing I thought I'd do is make a nice cow pat out of Dacron and latex rubber. Actually what this is, is a plug to go in the end of the stump of the arm. I had a bit of uh, Dacron and quilt edging left over, so I rolled it into a spiral, as you can see. Um, glued it all together using bits of Copydex, which is this, and obviously this is latex glue anyway. It's just latex, but it's, it's going off, so I may as well use it up. It's actually very thick. It shouldn't be this thick, but it's going off, as I said, so I'm not going to use it for much else. So I'm just basically going to coat this entire thing. As you can see, it's brown when it dries and white when it's... Uh, still wet and I'm going to coat this all over and that's going to leave a nasty looking flat-ish cow pat stump kind of arrangement um, which I'm going to stick into the end of the arm once I've got the fur on the front and the back I'll shake that up a bit Ugh. and uh, yeah that should be an interesting looking random thing it's about the right size and shape anyway um thing about the latex is you can't put a pile on at once you can't like pour it into a massive mold if you wanted for example say i wanted to fill that up with latex and have it go solid you you do what's called uh slush casting if that was a mold you pour the latex in swish it around slush it around hence the name and then pour it back out and then you pour a bit more in swish it around wait for it to go off pour it out so you do it, you build it up in layers. 
Now that's how latex works. So same kind of theory with this. Paint this on thinly, wait for it to go off, paint a bit more on. Because I'm a bit of a moron. There we go. That'll do for now. Let's close that. So that's our uh, that's our stump coming along. Now let's look at the next bit. Cut! So we need to start looking at this side. Um, like I say, we've still got wires to try to strengthen the fingers. Hopefully it'll keep a bit of a, a curve to them. And uh, I need to start working out some padding because if I just put the fur on here, it'll be very flat. Um, I thought of many different ways to do it, but I think what I'll probably do is go back to my tried and trusted cheapo way of getting some Dacron, this stuff, and um, wrapping it up in um, sausage shapes this time, long sausage shapes of cling film, taping it down. So, I think before I actually bend the fingers, I'll make up some, some little packages of padding and we'll see if we can uh, we'll see if we can get them to fit so well, let's have a look at the width of this cling film if I make one two three four well that's the longest one that's fine I'll make them this width good idea right best laid plans and all that by the way if it goes quiet and the music starts it means this section was long and boring and I have nothing to talk about. So, there's one, we need to make more, at least we know the width of the whole cling film's working, right? I will make one more, and then I might do a jump cut to next stage, because you know, there's only so many times you can see somebody fanning around with uh, cling film and Dacron. Right, let's bend the, bend the fingers into position, here we go. The wire is not as super strong as I thought it'd be because the foam is actually fighting it a little bit. But I don't mind that at all. It's got a bit of a, you know, hands wouldn't be solid rigor mortis, would they? Um, so that's pretty good. Okay. And the thumb can go in like that. Alrighty. Not too bad. It does look nicer now it's like this. Okay. So I need to sit this up on something, I think. What can I use? What can I use? I use what I always use, is that? Oh, well. Do you know what? I will use this. The good old talky toaster.
Okay, so all the bits on, uh, taped down. Let's try and get this up in position. There we go. See, it's still not heavy, it weighs almost nothing. It's just the weight of the claws, which is the heaviest bit. So there we go. Um, we're going to put more padding here, and obviously more padding down here. Then we put the horrible stump on. I don't know if I showed you the stump. I think I did. That's the problem with doing videos over the course of a week that you kind of you forget what you've done for that. It looks nice and gruesome. Cool. All right, so there we go. Wait for all that to dry off. Um, and then we put a bit more padding here and here. And I think that may be in the next video. All right. Apologies if I get in the way of the camera. But like I said, I wasn't even expecting to film this because I'm quite terrified about how it might turn out. And... Uh, I don't really want to capture any failures on camera, but it's all part of the plan. It's not all part of the plan. It's all part of the process. I don't, you don't plan mistakes, but if they do happen, you learn to fix them. So, E6000, running out of glue. Um, I'm going to have to order some more very, very soon. Don't think I've got enough to finish the entire hand here, so I will order some. To let the microphone skills flow And don't you worry about a thing tonight Cause there'll be bees on the track Making sure that you're feeling alright It's all planned Check out the rhyme as you move to the groove I'ma prove that it's all gonna be fine Never mind the bad vibes Know what I'm saying? The party's in effect Ain't no delaying Rhapsody, that's me New York or maybe LA Uh-uh, it's the UK But that's okay, you better hang on tight We gonna... There we go So that's all the gluing we're gonna do somewhere else okay <sighs> wish me luck so So, well, I've got to start cutting up here to glue the inside of this finger and then the inside of the middle finger, and we keep going. Um, I'm liking that. So far, so good. Okay, so all the pins are taken out from there all the way up to here, and I've pinned this side. Now, all these bands at the moment are holding the very edge. I've trimmed off the fur, about 10 mil. And I've glued right across the edge and the bands are holding them in position on both sides inside and out while the glue dries so I've got to go really gently with it basically I'm putting a tiny bit of glue on the end of this spreading it in there like like butter on bread fold this up put the bands over it leave it for a few hours and that's one finger or at least from here all the way around here done up to here and I'm going to do the same with them all. Um, I've trimmed off all the excess that was hanging off here at the end so I've trimmed off the excess so all I've got to do oop, you can't see it I've got to glue this end around the nail nail around the claw I bought myself another cushion cover because I'm not convinced I'll have enough fur to do all I need because it needs to go around the wrist You'll see, I've got to get some coming over here, something like that, you know, and obviously the other side. So I've got one, 
two and a third one just to do the last finger so I think we'll be okay. After a good few days of uh, pinning and gluing and gluing and pinning um, we have the uh, fingers wrapped in uh, cling film to try and keep the fur away from the other finger that I'm working on. We've got all the way down to oh there's an elastic band on there, that can come off. I put some bands on to keep the whole thing in place. Um, we've got all the fingers pretty much covered. Um, as you can see some pins are left on here. I'll just get the fur up. You see how this fur gets in the way? So this is glued all the way up here and I do move the fingers around just so I can kind of see what's going on in here. But as you can see, oh, as you can't see, as you can see here I haven't yet finished this bit here so this can fold back. You see? Uh, so that can fold back. So I'm going to get some glue all the way into here, trim a bit of this off and hold it down, pin it back and put some bands around it. Uh, this side is nearly done, just needs a little trim and we can just trim some of the fur off here um, just to bring it back to show the claw a little bit more. So that's going to be trimmed and, and banded. Um, but we're getting all the way up to here. It's stump time. Did a pile of stuffing in here, loads of extra stuffing. Um, put some more latex around the edge. Let's see if we can uh, stick that on. A few dots of glue all the way around. Not all the way, but the bottom half. Let's uh, have a look. I know. Move that out of the way. Just lean it up against the wall. A few dots will hold it for now. Once they've dried for about an hour, I can turn it around, put some more dots, and then we'll build up all the glue all the way around, and it should be sorted. Eight o'clock on a Sunday night. Um, we are getting to the end of it. Um, mostly glued and latex all the way around here. I don't know if you can see that well enough. Let me just bring it closer. So the white bits are latex that is still got to dry. The yellow bits are latex that is already dried. This is the last part that needs gluing and latexing. Um, there's a little bit of flesh showing there. I may put some fur in there, I may put more latex on it. Um, but it's looking pretty good now. Um, stump is on, plenty padded. Everything is looking great. Um, I've got the flash light on at the moment, so it's casting big shadows. But uh, you can see it's, uh, it's all neat and tidy. But I'm just going to finish using whatever E6000 I've got left in here to try and get as much of this glued as possible. Get some plenty, plenty glue in there. So if I can just get that onto there, I need to kind of hold it there somehow. I'm hoping these clamps that I normally use for Stormtrooper armor will do the job. Without gluing the clamp to the hand, of course. I think that would be good enough. I think that will hold it. Monday morning, we're there. Sorry this video has been incredibly long, but I wanted to squeeze it all into one final video, then drag it on. We're done. Time for the big reveal of the prop. There we go. One giant Wampa hand. Uh, let's give you some close-ups. Uh, let's try and pose these fingers. Yeah, they still bend a little bit. They bend back both ways, but generally all very good. You know, uh, I'm very happy with the way the furs sort of come out. Um, nasty, scary stump. I'm going to put a little more latex around the edges here 
just to sort of strengthen it so it doesn't come off. I don't think it will. It's on there pretty tight. Um, so yeah, here we go. Um, taught me a load of things. Made me more familiar with uh, using fur and latex and certain glues I got through uh, two tubes of E6000 and a half a bottle of latex. Uh, three cushion covers, a t-shirt and a couple of uh, lumps of uh, Super Sculpey and some paint and some EVA foam and some pins and a lot of Dacron for padding. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Uh, I'm very happy with this. I'm going to take some pictures. Um, and I'll just say now, I'm not going to make another one. Uh, do not message me and say, can you make me one? Because I did this one because I offered. I saw uh, Chris, the guy who, who's going to get this, I, I saw that he wanted one and he's looking to commission someone to make one. So I stepped up and said, do you know what? I think I can make that for you. And I think I've done a half decent job. Uh, happy with the size. But if somebody messages me and says, hey, can you make me one? Um, it's going to cost an absolute fortune. I offered to do this because I felt like doing it, so I did it on the cheap. Um, if I was doing this for someone else, we're talking in a couple of hundred quid, to be honest. Um, I don't want to go through this uh, again for peanuts. Um, I only did it as a, a fun project, something to do on the channel, uh, something to get me back into prop building. and. Uh, I think it worked out quite well. Um, I am available for commissions, but unless it's something I'm interested in an offer to do, it's not going to be cheap. Um, this is an expensive and time consuming project and I need to get paid for what I do. You know, my day job is a, an artist. Um, if I was doing something like this, I couldn't do my day job. So I need to get paid as simple as that. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the nine weeks worth of work. I'm going to find a way of getting this in a box now. I can't fold it up as much as I thought I could um, and get this over to the recipient. Uh, I haven't trimmed much fur off the uh, fingers here to reveal the claws. Um, there is a little bit more trimmed off the thumb so you can see that one. So it's been snipped. But I'll leave that to the recipient to trim if, as they see fit or leave it and dirty down the fur if they want to, but it's a nice off-white cream colour anyway. So there you go. Um, one uh, trial and error, one per paw, uh, done in about nine weeks. Um, could have been done quicker, but you know, like I say, life gets in the way. And there you have it. Hope you like it, guys. Um, that's it for this week. And uh, take care now. Bye-bye then.